Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we have an immense amount of suffering to go through, because today, we're wishing for Gwenyphon. It's been a long time coming. This is our first wishing video since Kafka. I'm super nervous, but what's a better way to cure nerves? Than gambling. Not really, please don't gamble. It's a really serious addiction. And one that I definitely do not have. But anyways, let's get on with the video. But wait, before we do that, Kafka's gone. Wait, how did I? Anyways, please consider subscribing. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. And we're super close to hitting 7D thousand subscribers which is a big milestone for me and when we hit it we're gonna be doing a big giveaway on this channel and giving away a total of 130 dollars canadian worth of stellar jades so if you could go down hit that subscribe button so we can hit the big seven zero 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 anyways let's go wish for gwen Ifen. Gwen Ifen wishing, hooray! Four star wishing, everybody loves wishing for four stars. I do, you do, your mother probably does, and so does your dog. I have been stressing about this all week because there is, of course, no guaranteed on four stars, and I would like to bring home at least one Gwen Ifen on this banner. There is, of course, also Luca, who we also want to bring home. Today, we have a total of 30 star rail passes in our inventory on top of that we have another 47 in stellar jade so theoretically we could get a five star here today obviously we don't want a five star but if we get one we get one if we do end up getting a five star we're gonna pray to lose the 50 50 because i don't need topaz i don't need sele but what we do need is gwenyphon let's go and get her first thing i have to do is find a good witching spot we want to go somewhere that kind of relate to Gwen Ifen herself. So I was thinking we head to Starskiff Haven. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Kekfin, why Starskiff Haven? What is there here that represents Gwen Ifen? Well, there is only one and one thing only, and it's right over there. The dog, or er, Deeting. But anyways, this is the dog, or there's multiple of these dogs all inside Gwen Ifen's burst animations. So I thought, hey, why not wish beside him? Instead of going back to Eurilo 6, like I did in my wishing video on my main account, where I ended up losing the 30% chance for Gwenyphon about 10 or 11 times. Hopefully we can rebuild a little bit of that luck here on Nihility only. Obviously, we also have Luca. Luca would be a great pickup. I already have E4 Luca. Any more Lucas I can get are really good. Even if we end up getting Gwenyphon early, I might continue until we're close to Pity so that we can potentially get a couple Eidolons for her. With that all being said, though, I think we've looked through everything and it's finally time to wish for our girl. Gwenyphon, it's time to come home. We have no Pity, no Pity built up. We just got Kafka, so I'm not too worried about getting a 5-star. We want to avoid the 5-stars. All we want is a simple Gwenyphon, which shouldn't be too hard. But I did say that last time, and I got screwed over about nine times. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Void. Nope. Gwenyphon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there goes the video. Well, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh my goodness, that is incredibly lucky. And a, and a Stompo. He wasn't even on the banner. He wasn't even on the banner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness no way no way this is happening this is like the ultimate nihility 10 pull oh my goodness this is so lucky oh my goodness look at this stack nihility only temple oh my goodness well uh yeah we have her now let's add her to the party gwenyphon where are you there you are my queen let's go i guess she's our first polearm character in nihility only let's go what she, what can she do throw bomb whoa oh she's so cool i can't wait to build her oh my goodness what else did we get from that that was so insane we got an e1 sampo which is pretty big and e5 luca we'll take that now i do think i'm gonna go a little bit further into this banner i think i'm gonna do at least honestly probably five more 10 pulls because the odds that another nihility character is coming anytime soon 
as unlikely. We already know all the characters for the 1.5 update. None of them are Nihility. And in fact, Hoyoverse did just put out the splash arts for the 1.6 characters. And again, none of them are Nihility, meaning we're not getting any Nihility characters in the next two updates. So I feel a little more justified getting as many Eidolons as I can for Gwynifen. So let's go a little bit further into this banner because I never get early five stars anyways, so we should be fine. We do have to remember our pity though, because if we go too far in, we might be a little screwed. Let's go. Gwynife and Eidolons. The only one we don't want from the banner is uh, a character I can't even remember. The, the one beside Gwynife and Luca. Nice! E6 Luca. That's it. That's all the Luca Eidolons we needed. Is Luca's Eidolon 6 any good? I have no idea what that means. We're just going to assume it's good. Anyways, we may have E6 Luca, but we don't have E6 Gwynifen. All I need is what, like five more Gwynifens and four ten pulls? Seems easy enough. Surely we can do it, right? No five star, no five star. Thank you. <laughs> the odds on this are pretty low, but hey, I like my luck. Let's see. Fine fruit. No, no. Uh, useless. Gwynifen, not you. I already have you, E6. I need no more of you. Ah, uh -huh. Oh, I'm really dancing on the edge of death here, but I'm going to do another one. I think this is 50 pity, I want to say, so we can do two more. And here we go again. Come on. The Ifen. Ifster. Let's go. There she is. That's one Eidolon. We'll take it. Can we get another one, though? Two for one? Okay, one. That's fine. We'll take one Eidolon for Gwynifen. We got another 10 pull coming up. Give me one more. No five star, no five star, no five star. Oh... I gotta stop doing this. What am I doing? If I get a five star, I'm gonna be so furious. But honestly, it's gonna be my fault if I end up getting a five star. Because I told myself to keep track of the pity and I've already lost it. I think we're at 60 or 50. That sucks, but you know what? It had to happen eventually. It's fine. It's only one Shu Shang. But I really would like another Gwynifen. Not that. <laughs> not that. That's not what I wanted. Ugh, that kind of sucks. Okay. Do I do one more? Do I tread on this fine line that I'm treading on and risk getting a five star. Maybe we do single pulls. I think we can do single pulls until we get another four star. Single pulls until we get another four star. Okay, good, no five star. We're treading a really thin line here, please. Okay, oh my goodness, bro. I'm actually so nervous. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I, I have an addiction. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness, please. 0 0.3 chance don't happen. Good. Please be Gunaifen. Oh my god, it's another three star. Surely we gotta be at guaranteed like now or something. We've gotta be close to it. Four star. Okay, there we go. Our four star. What's it gonna be? Please be Gunaifen. Please be Gunaifen. Well, it's technically her, but it's obviously not the form that I wanted her in. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, that sucks. I really want another idol on for her, but that's fine. We got a uh, we got her light cone instead. And of course, her light cone is going to be good on her because all of that matters is that you match the face to the character. There you go. That's going to be your light cone. And let's equip your one idol on that I'm sure is amazing. That being said, Shushang, woohoo, you get what? Two more? Congrats, Shushang. You deserve it. You deserve it. Not really, but you'll you'll take it, I guess. And with that, we now have every single Nihility character in the game. Nihility page completely filled out. And look at that. We have every single individual typing, which I absolutely love. No other path really has this at all. Nihility is the very first one, which I'm very happy about. Now, of course, getting Gwynifen wasn't our only goal in this video. We have a second goal of building her to the maximum because we did prepare everything that we wanted for her. So let's see what we're working with here. The first thing we're, of course, going to want to do is level her up to the maximum, which is, of course, level 70. So you would think. But in actuality, in between episodes, we hit Trailblaze level 60, meaning that we now have unlocked the Trial of Equilibrium so that we can now get our characters all to level 80. But before we do the Trial of Equilibrium, how about we upgrade our Gwynifen and build her so that we can use her for that challenge. Let's level her up. 
And just like that, level 70 Gwenaifen. We will get to 80 once we complete the Equilibrium Challenge. But first, we need to actually good light cone for her. Now, I did ask you guys in the last video what light cone you thought I should use for her. Because right now, our light cone on her is Fermata, which is not the best option in the world for her. So I was trying to gauge suggestions on which one of my seven upgraded Nihility light cones I should put on my Gwenaifen and take off another character. The top comment we got, which has 91 likes, suggested that we put Fermata on Sampo because it's actually better than his signature, and then we could put Sampo's signature on Gwenaifen instead. And if you don't know, this is actually a super good light cone for Gwenaifen because it increases effect hit rate and DOT, both of which she needs. So what we're going to do is put Fermata onto Sampo, and then we're going to put Sampo's Eyes of the Prey on Gwenaifen. Now she has some increased effect hit rate, some increased DOT, looking good. Next thing's next. I have to upgrade every trace in the game. <laughs> Give me one second here. And we maxed out all her talents besides her normal attack. I decided to leave that at level two because I don't feel like it's as important as the rest of her abilities. Oh yeah, also we have uh, three more wishes which we can get too. Boom, boom, boom. We got three more Star Rail passes. I think also from the store we can get a couple more star rail passes because we just did a bunch of wishes so we can get three more from here that's pretty cool and then also if we go over and do the equilibrium challenge we can get three more and just like that we'll have enough for a full 10 pull let's go over and do the equilibrium challenge it's time to see gwenaifen in action for the very first time i'm pretty excited to see what she's capable of and how much damage she can do but before we do that let's take one final look at our gwenaifen she is level 70 out of 70 light cone is eyes of the prey she has basically maxed out traces no no relics huh give me a second okay she now is relics cool we have her on four piece fire smith and two piece fleet of ageless she has attack body speed boots fire damage orb and attack rope all really really good pieces in terms of like the main stat the sub stats are pretty garbage but we're working on them and of course we also got a single little idol on for her and that is my gwenaifen build why don't we go and try her out for the first time let's go i'm excited I don't know exactly what team we're going to put her in, but I actually do like this one right here. Gwenaifen, Kafka, Silverwolf, Sampo? Sounds good to me. Let's see what they can do together. Let's use Gwenaifen to enter battle. Boom! Oh my goodness, look at all that fire kiss she applied. If you guys don't know what fire kiss is, I'll go over it briefly. Basically, anytime we apply burn to an enemy, it's just going to apply an uh, effect that which just increases the damage the enemy takes, which is just super nice. It's a really good effect and one of my favorite ones in the game. Also, she applies effect resistance reduction, which is another amazing one for Nihility only. She is going to give such a big boost in like every comprehensible way to this account. Of course, we got Sampo too. Boom. Ow. We still take big damage, unfortunately. Do another blast attack and break them. Nice. And look at all this DOT damage we're about to do to her. It's about to be crazy. Yep. See, look at that. And look at all that fire kiss we applied too. And there goes the enemy. One down, one more to go. I probably should have healed, but uh, maybe we'll be fine. I don't know. We can use her burst for the first time. This is pretty exciting. Very first time using the burst. Let's explode everything. Go. Boom. I love that move. It's so cool. Let's break the big guy. Broken. Break this one. Nice. Keep on stacking that quantum damage. He's dead. Oh my goodness. And the big guy's dead. Just as easy as that. And we are done. Equilibrium Challenge Part 5. Our very final one has been completed. Why don't we head back to Pom Pom, claim our rewards, and see what we can get. Pom Pom, what's up? How's my Trailblaze level? Oh, it's damn good. Because we got one more Star Rail Pass and a 10 Warp coming up. And you know what this 10 Warp is about to be? It's about to be a double Welt okay not well that's fine it's okay because we're about to see Gwenaifen, Sampo, Luca, and Pella all in one ten pull I'm feeling the luck okay that's not the luck well didn't get the luck we expected I guess damn it we got one more come on now please okay but I can buy two more hold up wait a minute one more no two more Whoa, we actually got something. No way. Another Sampo Idol on. Let's go. Let's go. That's actually big. 
Oh my goodness, we're getting really lucky in today's episode. Two Sompos when we weren't even guaranteed to get one. We'll take it. Another idol on for Sompo. Good stuff. And now we are officially level 80 and we can't ascend anybody because I spent the last month grinding for Gwenaifen. Actually, we can ascend Gwenaifen because funny enough, I did actually prepare the materials for her specifically, but that was it. She was the only character I prepared for out of the bunch. Obviously, we can't get every character to level 80 today. This will be a huge future project, but hopefully we'll be able to do it eventually. One thing we can do, though, is actually take Gwenaifen to level 80, which I think we're going to do because I can't ascend anybody else right now. So why not level up Gwenaifen? No new Nihility characters coming. I got to get somebody to level 80. There you go, Gwenaifen, our very first level 80 character on our account. It really should have been Kafka or Welt, but hey, it'll be the fire girl. And with all of that, I think it's about time for us to finally try our shot at the Memory of Chaos Floor 1 again. I tried it a while ago, and I think episode 14 or 13, I can't remember, we weren't even able to complete Floor 1. But hopefully, with the new addition to our team, we'll be able to at least beat Stage 1. Kafka, let's make it happen. First try, here we go. Oh, that's a big hit. And Kafka's already lost health. One dead. Two dead. That's good. We got our new and improved E6 Luca. Let's see if he can do anything. Not yet. Still pretty weak. Can you stop going for Kafka, please? Break her. Nice. Oh, yeah. She's dead. She's dead. All that fire kiss really stacks up fast. Let's go again. Here we go. Yep. And we got the Gwynifen burst. Boom. Two little robots on the side are dead. Good stuff. Oh gosh, that's going to hurt. Damn. Throw it at him again. And break him. Nice. One down. Two down. Come on, die. Oh shoot, please don't go for Kafka. Okay, he does his little charge ability. That's fine. Let's go again with the normal attack. Huge. And now he's dead. Good stuff. Didn't lose a single character. That's awesome. And now all we have to do is beat this side. Here we go. Boom. Slow him down a little bit too. Actually, we can slow everybody down with Welt's Burst. Yep, just like that. Or not. Welcome back to the real world. Nice, he's dead. It's just big guy left. Come on. He dies to DOT. Classic, ability only fashion. We have one more enemy left. And then, officially, we'll have beat Memory of Chaos stage one let's see if we can do it i'm gonna be super proud of our account if we're able to pull this off i don't know if we can do it though come on boom ah shoot oh my goodness that's a lot of freaking enemies oh no oh gosh that hurts okay well we're gonna need you to slow them all down every single last one well boom reduce defense with payla Nice. Just that one left. And Welt is able to break him. Awesome job, Welt. Keep up the good work. Just a couple more hits. Yes! I think we got the three stars too. Come on now. 23 cycles. And just like that, we beat our very first stage of Memory of Chaos. Oh my gosh. Do I try stage two? Okay, one attempt, one attempt. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's possible. But I mean, hey, who's stopping me from doing a, like one attempt? Oh God, goodbye. Oh, we actually did something. Okay, wait, he's actually pretty close to death. A couple more hits and we could probably do it potentially. Oh my goodness, we got him. We got the monkey. No way. Okay, one more guy left. Oh gosh, there's a lot of enemies this time. Oh goodness gracious. Let's hope Luca can do something about it. Happy New Year. It's only like what, November? Eh, close enough. New Year can be any time. Let's go in with Luca. Come on, die to DOT. Die to DOT. Oh shoot. That's gonna hurt. I think we should be able to get him, though, before he can get off that big hit, is what I'm praying for. And one more Welt first, and I think we can get him. Come on, Welt. Finish him off. 
come on now. Memory of Chaos Stage 2 is going to be a lot harder, though. Only three characters. I don't know if we can do it with three characters. That being said, we do have Kafka and Silverwolf here, so that's at least one positive. Uh, the, yeah, I don't know if this is possible, though. We're going to find out now if it is, I guess. Boom. Oh, I can't use skills anymore, but I really need to use Kafka's skill. Die to DOT. Die to DOT. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Just barely. Oh, one more enemy left. Oh, God. That's going to suck. The automaton really could have been anybody else. Anybody else. Okay. Well, I can't use bursts. I mean, skills against this guy because of the way he works. So we're just going to have to do normal attacks. Okay. Oh, I wish I had broken those two guys. That's fine. Okay. Now we break the automaton awesome those two guys on the side died too boom and because we didn't use any of our skills early on we have a lot saved up now which is amazing and two of them are dead awesome it's just the big guy left oh but the fish are here the fish are here no that's fine hopefully we can get them with sampo and kafka we got sampo burst and to kafka burst that got him. That got him. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it actually did it. Oh my goodness. That was super close. And we got him. Oh my goodness. Another three star. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. And I think we're going to leave it there for today. That was a pretty insane run. I'm super proud of our account and how far we've come. I think Memory of Chaos really proved how strong her, our account has got. But that being said, I think we're going to end the episode here for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did. I'm super excited we got Gwenaifen. I'm super excited we can now challenge the Memory of Chaos. And hopefully in the future, take on some of the harder stages. But with that all being said... That is going to be the end of our video today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.